England's modern history is a rich tapestry woven with significant events, transformative shifts, and enduring legacies. From the seismic changes of the Glorious Revolution in the late 17th century to the complexities of navigating Brexit in the 21st century, England's trajectory has been marked by triumphs and challenges alike. This journey encompasses the rise of constitutional monarchy, the Industrial Revolution's seismic economic and social transformations, the pinnacle of Victorian imperial power, and the tumultuous upheavals of two world wars. Delving into the annals of England's modern history unveils not only the evolution of its political and social landscape but also the intricate interplay of global forces shaping its destiny. In this exploration, we embark on a journey through 20 key moments, each a pivotal chapter illuminating the multifaceted story of England's modern identity. The Glorious Revolution, 1688. This event saw the overthrow of King James II by his Protestant daughter Mary II and her husband, William III of Orange. It established constitutional monarchy and laid the foundation for parliamentary sovereignty. The Act of Union, 1707, England and Scotland were united into a single kingdom called Great Britain by the Act of Union, creating the Kingdom of Great Britain. This laid the groundwork for the later formation of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. The Industrial Revolution, late 18th to early 19th centuries, England experienced a profound economic, technological, and social transformation with the advent of mechanized industry, leading to urbanization, the growth of cities, and significant societal changes. The Napoleonic Wars, 1803-1815, England, along with its allies, waged war against Napoleon Bonaparte's French Empire. The defeat of Napoleon at the Battle of Waterloo in 1815 cemented England's position as a leading European power. The Reform Act of 1832, this landmark legislation expanded the electorate in England and Wales, increasing the number of eligible voters and redistributing parliamentary seats. It was a significant step towards democratic representation. The Great Exhibition, 1851, held in the Crystal Palace in London, the Great Exhibition showcased Britain's industrial prowess and innovations. It symbolized the height of the Victorian era and Britain's global dominance. The Crimean War, 1853-1856, England, along with France and the Ottoman Empire, fought against Russia in the Crimean War. It marked the first war covered extensively by the media and highlighted issues of military incompetence and poor healthcare. The British Empire reaches its zenith, late 19th century. The late 19th century saw the British Empire reach its peak, with territories spanning the globe. This period marked England's dominance in colonial expansion, trade, and cultural influence. Women's suffrage movement, the struggle for women's right to vote gained momentum in England during the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The suffragettes, led by figures like Emmeline Pankhurst, campaigned tirelessly for political equality. World War I, 1914-1918, England, along with its allies, fought against the Central Powers. The war resulted in massive casualties and profoundly altered the geopolitical landscape of Europe. The Easter Rising, 1916, in Ireland, Irish Republicans staged a rebellion against British rule, seeking independence. While initially unsuccessful, the Easter Rising laid the groundwork for the eventual establishment of the Irish Free State. The Representation of the People Act 1918. This legislation granted voting rights to women over 30 and extended suffrage to all men over 21, significantly expanding the electorate. The General Strike, 1926. Workers across various industries in England staged a general strike in support of coal miners, protesting wage cuts and worsening working conditions. The strike highlighted tensions between labor and capital. World War II, 1939-1945. England played a crucial role in defeating Nazi Germany as part of the Allied forces. The Battle of Britain, in particular, showcased the resilience of the British people against German air raids. The Beveridge Report, 1942. Authored by economist William Beveridge, this report laid the groundwork for the post-war welfare state in England. It proposed social reforms, including the creation of the National Health Service NHS, and the welfare system. The Windrush Generation 1948. The arrival of the MV Empire Windrush in England marked the beginning of significant immigration from the Caribbean. These immigrants, known as the Windrush Generation, played a vital role in rebuilding post-war England. The end of empire, mid-20th century, England's colonial empire began to unravel after World War II, with many colonies gaining independence. Decolonization reshaped England's relationship with its former colonies and its role in the world. Thatcherism and the miners' strike, 
1984-1985, Margaret Thatcher's government clashed with the National Union of Mine Workers NUM, in a year-long strike over proposed mine closures. The strike, ultimately unsuccessful, marked a turning point in labor relations and the decline of the coal industry. Good Friday Agreement, 1998. This agreement, brokered with the help of the British and Irish governments, brought an end to the decades-long conflict in Northern Ireland known as, the Troubles. It established a power-sharing government and paved the way for peace and reconciliation. Brexit Referendum, 2016. England voted in a referendum to leave the European Union, setting off a complex process of negotiation and eventual withdrawal. Brexit has had far-reaching political, economic, and social implications for England and the wider United Kingdom.